Welcome back grade 11s to my lessons on redox reactions. We have, if I can summarize, we have um, redox reactions, half of redox reactions would be reduction and the other part, the other half of redox reactions would be oxidation. During reduction reactions, we have a, uh, a gaining of electrons. Whereas during oxidation, we have a loss of electrons. And the quick way to memorize this is to uh, imagine a little lion with the name Leo that tries to growl and all he gets out is a girl. Leo, loss of electrons is oxidation. Girl, gain electrons reduction. So this is a nice fun way to remember um, the definitions of the definition of reduction and oxidation in terms of electron transfer. Then there is a second way to define um, reduction and oxidation in terms of what happens to the oxidation numbers of elements. And in this video I will also um, refer to that. So, my example today would look at hydrogen reacting with nitrogen to make ammonia. Just balance the reaction equation. Three hydrogens will react with one nitrogen to make two ammonia. And in this video, I would like to concentrate on oxidation numbers. So by definition, an oxidation number is a real or an imaginary ionic charge. Real, if you have metals joined to non-metals, there will be cations and anions. So those charges on the atoms would be real charges. If you have non-metal compounds, like the one we have here, ammonia, consists of two non-metals, there aren't any real ions in the molecule. So that is why they refer to imaginary oxidation numbers. If the element is joined to atoms of the same element, the oxidation number is taken as zero. So hydrogen's oxidation number is zero because it's a hydrogen joined to a hydrogen. Nitrogen joined to nitrogen, no ions here, so the oxidation number is zero. In ammonia, we don't have ions, but we would classify oxidation numbers as imaginary um, ions. Hydrogen is in group one. It's got one valence electron, so it will have an imaginary positive charge. So it's 1 plus or plus 1. Nitrogen, on the other hand, is in group 15. And nitrogen's got five valence electrons, if I can use this Lewis structure to help you visualize this. So the hydrogen, the nitrogen atom will be able to gain three imaginary, uh, three electrons, gaining them um, not really to form an ion, but to share them with the hydrogen. So nitrogen's charge will be negative 3. I see that what happened to hydrogen is that hydrogen's oxidation number went from 0 to plus 1. And if we think of simple mathematics, it means that there is a loss of electrons. And 
a loss of electrons is oxidation. Sorry. So a loss of electrons is oxidation. And we can see in terms of oxidation number, there is an increase in oxidation number which confirms that oxidation involves an increase in oxidation number. So hydrogen is what we say oxidized. On the other hand, what happens to nitrogen? Nitrogen's oxidation number went from 0 to minus 3. And mathematically that implies that nitrogen gained negatives and the negatives are electrons. So this involves a gain of electrons and a gain of electrons is reduction. So the, the um, oxidation number of nitrogen decreased. So decrease in oxidation number happened to nitrogen so nitrogen is reduced so reduction can also be defined as a decrease in oxidation number. The next concept I want to explain is the concept of reducing agent and oxidizing agent. <coughs> now an agent is something that will cause another thing to happen. So a reducing agent will cause reduction. In this reaction, nitrogen is reduced. It is reduced by hydrogen. So hydrogen is the reducing agent. Nitrogen is reduced. It gains electrons. It's reduced. So it's reduced by hydrogen, so hydrogen is the reducing agent. And the reducing agent by itself, or in itself, is oxidized. Nitrogen causes the loss of electrons in hydrogen, so nitrogen is the one that caused oxidation. So the hydrogen is oxidized by the nitrogen. Therefore, nitrogen is the oxidizing agent. Because nitrogen causes the oxidation of hydrogen, it is called the oxidizing agent. Right? So we can use oxidation numbers to identify redox reactions. And we can identify this, uh, the oxidation as well as the reduction, half, 
of the redox reaction and we can identify the reducing agent as well as the oxidizing agent. Right? I think this is enough for one session. I'll uh, work through some more examples in the next video. Thank you for watching my videos.